Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. Today in this class we are going to see the class six supplementary reader unit three that is the shepherd's treasure. Okay, today we are going to see this supplementary lesson. Let's start. What do you understand by the topic the shepherd's treasure? We all know that shepherd is a person who look after sheep. Okay, he is called as shepherd. And what do you understand by treasure? Treasure is nothing but khazana, which means a collection of gold, silver, jewelry, uh, or something like these precious things. Okay, this is what treasure means. Let's start. Okay. So here, a poor shepherd once lived in Iran. Here, first of all, before going to start our lesson. we are given some points in the middle of the lessons like this okay these three points these three points this three points. these points will tell us what's going to happen in the story okay for that purpose like this three three lines are given before before a paragraph okay let's start a poor shepherd once lived in iran to uneducated he was very wise and helpful the king decided to meet him in this guise so here in the meaning of these three lines is once there was a poor shepherd that poor shepherd li lived in where where he lived he lived in iran okay he was not educated so he was not educated he was very wise wise means intelligent he was very wise he has a very good nature that is helpful nature and then the next point is the king decided to meet him in disguise what do you understand by disguise disguise is nothing but change of appearance so that the opposite person cannot recognize him that's why okay have you got some idea what this story is all about okay let's get into the lesson In a village in Iran, there once lived a shepherd. He was very poor. He did not have even a small cottage of his own. He had never been to school or learned to read and write, for there were very few schools in those days. So, in the first paragraph, this paragraph tells us that this poor shepherd lived in a village in Iran. We all know that where the Iran is. So in that Iran, there is a small village. In that village, this poor shepherd lived. He was very poor. He was very poor. He don't even have a small cottage. Here, small cottage is nothing but a small house or hut where he can shelter himself. Okay. As he was very poor, he had never been to school. Never been to school means never go to school from his childhood. He don't know how to read and write. because we all know that in those days going to school is a big thing right so actually there were a very few school and that too he was very poor that's why he didn't ever been to school that's why he was uneducated let's move on to poor and uneducated this shepherd was very wise he understood people's sorrows and troubles and help them face their problems with courage and common sense many people came to him for advice soon he became famous for his wisdom and friendly nature the king of that country heard about him and thought of meeting him so what happened to the shepherd was poor and uneducated he was very wise okay he was very intelligent he can understand the people sorrows and troubles here sorrows is nothing but pain okay he was very kind and gentle he can easily understand the people who were in pain who were in trouble so he came forward to help them he don't have money as he was a poor man he can help them by giving a good valuable advice he can motivate the people how to overcome the pain how to overcome the troubles in this way he was helping the people soon he became people's friend as he has a very good friendly nature okay people like to come to him discuss their problems with him 
as he was giving a valuable advice to them soon he become very famous in throughout the village about his greatness about his friendly nature helping nature kind towards people and wisdom spread out throughout the country like a fire so the king of that country came to know came to know about this poor shepherd and wanted to meet this poor shepherd he decided to meet this man anyhow at any cost let's see what happened next disguised as a shepherd and riding on a mule one day the king came to the cave where the wise where the wise shepherd lived so what happened so the king got very curious about to meet that poor shepherd why because he came to know a very great things about him that's why he decided to meet him so what happened to meet that poor shepherd he disguised himself as a shepherd here i told you disguise meaning in the beginning itself right so disguise is nothing but changing of one self's appearance okay the king changed the appearance of himself as a shepherd so that the shepherd could not recognize him that he was a king the king came to meet him okay so that's why he changed his appearance as a shepherd and he started riding on a mule here mule is nothing but a horse a mule is nothing but a horse okay so the king totally changed himself as a shepherd and started to ride on a mule and went to his cave okay where this poor shepherd lived let's see the next lines as soon as the shepherd saw the traveler coming towards the cave he rose to welcome him he took the tired traveler inside the cave gave him water to drink and a share of his own merge meal the king rested for the night in the cave and was greatly impressed by the shepherd hospitality and wise conversation so what happened as soon as the poor shepherd saw some when he is coming towards his place towards his cave he just rise he this is rose is nothing but this is the past tense of rise rise means get up to get up he just get up to welcome the traveler welcome the tired traveler he just welcome the king very nicely so he took the king to his cave and offered him a glass of water to drink so as the king was a traveler he came from long distance he was very tired he drank that water after some time he shared the meal with the king whatever he had he just shared with the king have a look here here merge is nothing but a small amount of food okay whatever he had he just shared it with the king then he make a bed for the traveler to rest so the king rested for that night in that cave and the king was very happy and impressed by his hospitality hospitality is nothing but the way he treat to the king the way he take care of that king of the traveler so he was greatly impressed by that shepherd and not only that he was thinking whatever he heard about this poor shepherd was true he was truly a great man a kind hearted man a friendly nature let's see what happened next the shepherd was able to make out that his visitor was none other than the king the king made the wise shepherd governor of a small district other governors become jealous of the new governor and called him dishonest what we are going to see next in the story means this shepherd was finally came to know that the visitor is none other than the king as i said you before he was a wise man out of his wisdom he just came to know that he is the king of the country so the next point is so the king impressed by his nature right that's why he wanted to make him means make that poor shepherd the governor of one small district so as he become the governor of that small district the other governors okay they got jealous of this new governor that is poor shepherd they got jealous of him 
सो लेट सी दो पॉइंट्स हियर तो स्टिल टायर्ड द किंग डिसाइडेड टू डिपार्ट द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग ही सेड मेनी थैंक्स फॉर योर काइंडनेस टू योर पुअर ट्रैवलर आई हैव अ लॉन्ग वे टू गो परमिट मी टू लिव सो द किंग रेस्टेड इन द केव एंड ही वॉज वेरी मच इम्प्रेस बाय हिम बाई हिज हॉस्पिटैलिटी राइट तो ही वॉज वेरी टायर्ड ही हैड टू लिव द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग सो ही वॉज आस्किंग ही अ परमिट परमिट इज नथिंग बट परमिट मीन्स आस्किंग परमिशन टू लिव सो ही हैड टू लिव फॉर द किंग नेम दैट्स वाई ही वॉज टेकिंग हिज परमिशन अ लव मी टू गो ही अ परमिट इज नथिंग बट अ लव अ लव मी टू गो I was so much impressed by your hospitality. Why? Because even though I am stranger to you and a poor traveler, you made me so happy. Thank you for all that," he said. So, next, looking straight into the eyes of his guest, the shepherd replied, "Thank you, Your Majesty, for paying me on the compliment of a visit." So, as we all know that this shepherd is a wise man. so he came to know that the visitor is none other than the king that's why as soon as he said as soon as the king said thanks to this poor shepherd in the reply he said that thank you your majesty here majesty is nothing but the king by looking straight into king's eyes he was saying thank you majesty thank you my lord for visiting my house it's a big thing for me that you visited my house let's see what happened next the king was astonished as well as pleased he is indeed very wise he thought to himself i need people like him to work for me and the king appointed this humble shepherd the governor of a small district so the king was astonished here astonished is nothing but surprised the king was very surprised how this poor shepherd know that i am a king how he know i didn't even spoke or i didn't even act in that way that i am a king then how he came to know he was very surprised at the same time he was very pleased and he was thinking himself that he is indeed a wise man because he came to know that i am a king after that he said to the poor shepherd i need a people like you in my country so he offered him a post of governor of a small district let's see next whether he agreed or not okay although he rose to power and dignity the shepherd remained as humble as ever people loved and honored him for his wisdom sympathy and goodness he was kind and just to one and all his fame as a fair and wise governor soon spread throughout the country so next what happened now the poor shepherd became a governor of that small district he got powers he got dignity he got fame all he got instead of getting all those he was remained as humble as ever he didn't get that much of proud he was like that as before he was kind to people he was very friendly with people and people also started to love him started to honor him he was very down to earth so all this fame all his fame as fair and a wise governor it spread throughout the country soon let's see the next paragraph now the governors of other provinces grew terribly jealous of him and began to talk to the king against him they said he is very dishonest and keeps for himself part of the money that he collects as tax from the people why did he always carry with him they added an iron chest perhaps he carried in it the treasure that he had secretly collected after all they said mockingly he was an ordinary shepherd and could behave no better so what happened as he is getting that much of appreciation from the people about his greatness about his wise governor about his honesty about his goodness the governors of other states here provinces is nothing but the people of other states the people of other districts they got the governors of other 
district got jealous of this poor shepherd why because he is getting that much of appreciation that much of liking from the people the other district governors got jealous of him they started to call him as dishonest they went to the king and and talking against him and they started to call him as dishonest when the pe- when the king asked him why you are calling so then they said that he always carries an iron chest with him so in the in that he was collecting the tax from the people and secretly putting the treasure in that iron chest do you know what is iron chest iron chest is nothing but so this is what iron chest means so he was secretly collecting the taxes from the people and secretly putting the all treasure in this chest like that they were pointing him as dishonest and saying to saying that to the king let's see what happened next the new governor the new governor is nothing but that poor shepherd he was called to the palace and he was ordered to explain why he always carried an iron chest the chest contain no gold and silver the chest there is no gold and silver in the chest let's see at first the king did not pay attention to these reports but how long could he ignore this governor and their endless stories about that shepherd one thing was certain the king discovered the new governor did carry an iron chest with him all the time so one day the new governor was summoned to the palace he came riding on his camel and to everyone's delight the famous iron chest was there fastened securely behind him on the camel's back so what happened one after the another the governors of other district came to the king and and blaming that this poor shepherd is dishonest person so how long he can ignore one thing for sure is that this king also started to notice that he always carries an iron chest with him always so that's why to clear that matter the king called this poor shepherd in the kingdom here summoned is nothing but to call someone in to the palace so the king called that poor shepherd i mean the new governor to the palace to everyone's surprise on the day also he carries that iron chest with him he came to the palace by riding on his camel everyone was shocked everyone was uh, curious to know what reply he will give when the king asked him about this iron chest we'll move to the next paragraph now the king was angry he thundered why do you always carry that iron chest with you what does it contain the governor smiled he asked his servant to bring him the chest how eagerly the people standing around waited for the shepherd to be found out but how great was their astonishment and even of the king himself when the chest was opened no gold or silver or jewels but an old blanket was all that came out so as soon as the king noticed that there was actually an iron chest by seeing that iron chest with him the king was very angry and asked him why do you always carry this iron chest with you what does it contain just show me then this poor shepherd smiled and asked his servant to bring the chest as soon as his servant brought the chest the other governor standing around they were eagerly waiting to see what actually there in the chest they were eagerly waiting they are they are not blinking their eye they just wanted to know what's there actually in the chest to everyone's surprise to everyone's astonishment when he opened the chest there were no silver no jewels no gold nothing else only a old blanket everyone was surprised to see that let's see what happened next holding it up proudly the shepherd said this my dear master is my only treasure i always carry it with me 
So as soon as he opened that chest, everyone was surprised. As we know that they were th- they were thinking that there was a treasure in the chest, but they were all surprised to see that old blanket. Then holding it up. the poor shepherd said that proudly this is my treasure oh my dear master this is only my treasure i always carry it with me the other governors feel ashamed of themselves let's see what happened next in the last paragraph but why do you carry such an ordinary blanket with you surely you are the governor of a district the king asked to which the shepherd replied with quiet dignity This blanket is my oldest friend. It will still protect me if at any time your majesty should wish to take away my new clothes. So next what happened as soon as the king heard the reply of the shepherd he asked a question why do you always carry such an ordinary old blanket with you all the time? Then that governor then that poor shepherd replied with very dignity with quiet dignity that this is my oldest friend now i have become the governor of this district but before that i was a very poor man right so this blanket is my oldest friend wherever i go i just put it in my bag so i always carries that old blanket with me because this blanket help me a lot help me wherever possible it always protect me wherever necessary if i need it that's why i carried this blanket with me all the time then that king asked him now you are a governor so instead of that you can take a new clothes here clothes is nothing but this type of jacket this type of coats so instead of that blanket you could take this type of with you but he still said as it was my oldest friend it was very dear to me so i won't accept anything else about this okay next what happened at last how pleased the king was and how embarrassed the, the jealous governors became to hear the wise man's reply now they knew that the shepherd was indeed the humblest and the wisest man in the land the king made him the governor of much bigger district that, that very day so at last what happened as soon as they all came to know they all means including the king and the other governors came to know the truth of that iron chest the truth of that blanket they all got they all got shocked the king was pleased with that poor shepherd and that jealous governors got embarrassed embarrassed means feel of ashamed they ashamed of they thought they ashamed of themselves that they point out that humblest man finally with the king the other governors also respect him they came to know that this man is really the humblest man the greatest man the wisest man in the land so by seeing his honesty the king got very much pleased about that poor shepherd that's why he made that poor shepherd the governor of much bigger district actually he was the governor of small district now the king made him the governor of bigger district that day that very day means that day whatever happened that day okay this is what the lesson is all about so actually the shepherd treasure is what the treasure of that shepherd is that old blanket okay cleared so that is the lesson i hope you all understood this lesson well if you really understood this class please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching